Welcome back to another installment of Interior Grind, where we are grinding for good design. Today, we found ourselves at an Airbnb, a staycation, everybody, in Houston, Texas. Yes, an Airbnb that is centrally located to Reliance Stadium or the freeway 610 right off of the freeway well, if you want to go to turkey leg hood if that's your thing or if you want to go to a place like Eunice, if that's your thing or if you want to go to camp if that's your thing if you want to go down to the to Edo, if that's your thing but anyhow this place is so cozy and well appointed it is a blush house house everybody not house but house you know this host took everything into consideration from for design like she had a theme and she ran with it it's blush it's black it's gold it's marble it's very glam like she pulled out all the steps down to the hooks on the curtains everybody she even made sure we noticed that we, we're gonna have some hooks to pull these curtains back and they're gonna be gold leaf and she has a plant and art that is within theme, that glam theme. You know, to be honest, I am a boho chic girl, but I appreciate good, well-appointed design. And this is definitely good, well-appointed design. And what I really appreciate in this Airbnb, that there's a desk. Because though I'm on a staycation, I'm also on the clock at work. That's right. And this kitchen is well-equipped. She even has little tags saying, these are pots and pans. Here's where the glassware is. And not only is the glassware is also gold trimmed. It fits with the theme. She also has some spices, everybody, and a blender. Spices, she even had tahine. Tahine, everybody. Not everybody even knows what tahine is. Tahine is something you put on fruit, but I actually put it in my guacamole, but we don't care about that. She has an assortment of tea. I took one, one's missing. Creamer and an assortment of coffee. I mean, but the piece de resistance to me, everybody, is the COVID test. Because, you know, if you're out Fula Line in Houston, turning up, because, you know, Houston is lit city now, go figure. I grew up, it wasn't lit city when I was growing up. You need a COVID test. But she has snacks. Now, I don't know why she put chips in the fridge, but okay, I, okay, to keep it fresh, I guess. So let's just move on out and move into the bedroom. Because the bedroom is definitely a glam glamorous the glamorous it has a floor length floor to ceiling length it's not the ceiling mirror and a nice wallpaper peonies on the wall like I appreciate every detail and the bed was comfortable everybody the bed was very comfortable and I was just like oh my god chocolates do I have chocolates on my nightstand Oh boy, I'm really impressed. I love chocolate. And there's a nice garden tub. You know, I don't know if you want to take a bath, you know, really get into the staycation. But what I really do appreciate is that she has her own hotel-esque soaps. She has her own soaps and she also has Q-tips. Hotels today don't even give Q-tips. And she also has a little stand for your toilet items and face towels. You know in Europe, I just got back from Europe, they don't have face towels anywhere. Nowhere. Okay, the closet and then here's laundry and I like that it's laundry available. As well as she has a detergent. She has detergent for you like in the closet. But most of all, I feel like Jane the host is the model. She's the one to beat if there was an Airbnb competition. Like she even gave wine that fits the decor. So next time you're in Houston, book the Cozy Blush House, H-A-U-S. Like and subscribe.